Hey there, how you doing Coach Chris, Team Critical Bench. What I want to talk about today is the difference between a strict curl and a cheat curl. Now both are good, <laughs> okay? You may disagree with me, maybe, maybe, or maybe not. I do both, and there are different versions of strict curl, right? Strict curl typically, I mean, there's even competition strict curl where you're up against a wall, where, I mean, you can put no body English on the, on the curl whatsoever, just pure bicep strength, arm strength, curling the weight. You can also do just a, you know, standing strict curl. Again, where you're not using the body to assist you in getting that weight to move up and down. Now, cheat curls are a little bit more fun because you can go a little heavier or squeeze out more reps with them. So I wanted to just briefly go over the difference between the two. And there is a place for both of them, and I do both. So why don't I just do a real quick demo of some strict barbell curls with moderate weight, and then I'll very quickly transition, and you'll notice a tempo change as well, to some cheat curls, okay? So this is only about uh, maybe 85 pounds or something. So I'm gonna curl strictly for three reps, right? Everything is good, shoulders are back, abs are tight. Right up and down with control, right? That's a nice clean curl. Elbows staying tight to the side of the body. No problem, right? And that's how, you know, you'd like to see most people do curls. Now, if you're working with heavier loads or you're burning out, you're doing high rep intensity stuff, and you really want to get the most out of your sets, your curls might begin to look a little bit more like this. And I've seen ones that are even a little bit more <laughs> exaggerated. There's a little bit more body movement going on, a little bit more hip movement going on. We get so much power from the middle of our body, from our hips, right? So anytime that we can start to utilize the stronger muscles in the body to assist us in working the smaller, weakest muscles in the body, uh, you know, obviously we're gonna we're gonna still place quite a bit of demand on the biceps there in a relatively safe way. I mean, you didn't, I wasn't leaning back like this trying to get the weight. Uh, there's some call for a little bit of lean sometimes on those last few reps if you're really working out hard. But again, I just wanted to show you the difference between just that standard strict curl, shoulders back, no body movement whatsoever, versus that little bit of movement that can aid you as you start to fatigue with those heavier loads, okay? Get some more reps. And they're fun, man, they're fun. Just be smart about it. Make sure you're warmed up thoroughly. And, uh, you know, working the, bon work the guns, working the biceps is always a good time. So, you know, if you're a dude, do some strict and do some cheat curls. Coach Chris, Team Critical Bench, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful. And we'll see you again real soon.